Quran, as Jay said, comprises 114 chapters. Each chapter has a number of verses. And there are two numbers that are thus associated with each chapter. The chapter number, from 1 to 114, and the number of verses within the chapter. Now, there is a mathematical relationship between these two numbers. If you add the two numbers together, you either get an even number result or an odd number result. That, that's elementary. You add two numbers together, you either get an even number result or an odd number result. A result. If you do this for the entire Quran, you obviously have 114 results. And some of them are going to be even numbers. Some of them are going to be odd numbers. If you did this yourself, you will see to your surprise that exactly half of the results are even numbers and half of them are odd numbers. 57 even numbers, 57 odd numbers. What created this fine balance? Now let's go deeper. Take the 57 even number results and add them all together. You get the grand total of 6,236. Even though this total emerged from only 57 chapters of the Quran, this number, 6,236, is also the number of verses in the entire Quran. So how did that emerge from only 57 chapters? Now, let's look at the odd number results and add them all together. The sum of those 57 odd number results is 6,555. And it turns out that that number is the grand total of all of the chapter numbers of the entire Quran, the entire 114 chapter numbers. How did this fine balance occur? So that not only do we have an even number of even and odd results, but the even results total the, the number of verses of the entire Quran, and the odd number results is the total of all of the chapter numbers of the Quran. Now, one step further. If you did this yourself in, let's say, a computer worksheet program, you entered all of the numbers, now you have the results, you see the numbers matching at the bottom in your totals, you will see that if you put in one verse extra anywhere, or you take out one verse by changing the numbers, just make one number bigger by one or smaller by one, or you change any of the chapters, add a chapter, take away a chapter, the entire system then collapses. And what this means for me is that, to begin with, the system is there in place by God himself. And secondly, this shows that the Quran, the one that I'm referring to, has been preserved and handed down to us over time. So we can be assured that this is the word of God. <laughs> ¶¶